I'll be testing what it's like in the sea, what it's like on a run. If you want to take this thing on an outdoor adventure or if it's even worth taking on a travel. I'm going to test the audio. I'm also going to be testing how comfortable it is to carry around. And there's a lot of things that we're going to be testing, especially the slow motion. I'm quite excited to test that as well. So let's start the test now. <laughs> How's it guys and welcome to the channel today I am doing an unboxing I have finally after a very long time got my hands on the hero 9 black and I'm gonna be doing an unboxing for you who actually has the patience to wait to open something as cool as this while they're filming it not me I totally opened this last night but it's fun so let's just unbox this thing together hey That was a lot of fun guys if you are excited to vlog with me today I'm gonna take this bad boy for a little bit of a test we are blessed with the good fortune to be living at the beach right now so my favorite thing is it's the middle of the day I could never take this very clunky camera out to film on a good day so we're gonna take this GoPro out into the water and we're just gonna have some fun so let's go Is this what they call a bicep pump, my love? Yeah. <laughs> time out there in the ocean and I must say having the GoPro out there with me was a lot of fun. Something that would have been really cool would have been to have maybe a chest strap or maybe a head strap or something like that because trying to paddle and holding the GoPro um, that was a bit more challenging than I <laughs> originally anticipated and also every time there was a wave trying to throw the GoPro into my costume wasn't the smartest of ideas so if you want to take the GoPro into the ocean maybe just have something that you can clip it onto I don't know there's so many GoPro accessories find which one works for you I was actually very conservative with my shots on the water and that is just because I was trying to balance and not fall into the water <laughs> I was a little bit scared of sharks I know I probably shouldn't be but if I had something to just put my GoPro in I could have made that footage a bit more interesting and fun to watch back it was a great time but it could have been a lot more aesthetic if I had something to assist me in capturing the shots that I had in my mind now let's quickly talk about audio so this was my first GoPro that I had and I often used it inside of this accessory and I just found that putting it in inside here it really compromised the audio to be honest nobody buys a GoPro because they're looking for great audio but if you're using a GoPro for vlogging then you do want to get the best audio possible I'm gonna be honest I'm never quite happy with the quality of the audio especially after I put my GoPro in water and taken it out or if I have my GoPro in very wet environments what I'm trying to say is the audio is very hit and miss sometimes it seems relatively crisp and sometimes it seems very cloudy but I'll make 
make my mind up at the end of this video. This attachment allows these little guys that are at the bottom of the GoPro to now be exposed. So there was previously something covering it, but now that they are open, perhaps this is going to help with getting more of a hit when it comes to the sound. I'm very sentimental about my first GoPro. I have taken some really epic footage around the world with this little guy, but the real reason why I upgraded is personally because I love adventure, I love being outdoors, and I'm really searching for silky smooth footage, and I just wasn't getting it with this guy. I needed to upgrade, and there's something called HyperSmooth 3.0 technology, which the new GoPro has. If I wanted to get stabilized footage with my old GoPro, I would have to use this gimbal and this thing has been so unreliable for me. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I've even doctored it up by using this little elastic band over here. But this guy can't even stay awake and guys, I've charged this thing and relying on a gimbal. Firstly, carrying a gimbal around, I just like to keep things super light if I'm on the run or on the go and that's why I got this new one. <laughs> So the whole idea is to get gimbal-like footage in this new GoPro without the hassle of lugging around gimbals and trying to balance the GoPro on the gimbal. Nobody's got time for that. It's an action camera. And to see if it's as smooth as they advertise, let's take this GoPro for a run. How much energy do you have for a run today, my love? A little. Do you want to do a single loop or a double loop? I'm a bit hungry, but I'm quite keen for a double. If you're enjoying this video so far, be a gem, smash that like button. Oh yeah. <laughs> the of people making it up a flight of stairs with the GoPro is handing the GoPro over to your husband to hold and having a positive attitude. Let's do these stairs. You ready, my love? GoPro, the new GoPro. Seems pretty cool. Yeah. We're struggling a bit with some settings, but I think it's just getting used to it. Struggling more with the run though than the settings, but it's quite cool. You can see yourself, so you can frame the shot. I'm a bit too zoomed in, but a bit too lazy to change that now. But yeah, it's good. Love how you sped up there. She's just running for the camera, just speeding up when it goes on. I'm telling you, my. My loop pace is much faster than the camera is recording. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for this whoop transition? You gotta check out this view. Ready? Whoop! My husband's just gone for a second loop, he's a machine. <laughs> so I just thought I would quickly go ahead and just give you my test results. <laughs> so what did I think about audio? So I can't tell you now, but I will put a little score out of 10 for you, what I thought it would get. <laughs> What do I think about size? I definitely think it's small enough to fit into your pocket. If you're running, you can just zip it into your back pocket or if you carry one of those straps on your arm, it's a good place for that. Also, really good size if you're going traveling, you can put it in a bag or in one of those little packs of satchels that people carry around, definitely good sizing. It's also really light, it didn't break my biceps or anything like that. Yesterday I was shooting a documentary with one of my bigger cameras and by the end of the day my arms were spaghetti. Love that camera too. But this little guy is far better if you're planning to film the whole day. Then what's also really cool is this thing over here. So let's say for example you're running and you were eating something, you could just check out if you have something in your teeth. <laughs> so that's quite helpful. I'm also quite keen to see what it would look like at the end of the day. So I'll just be inserting a little clip of the footage at the end of the day just after the sun sets or just before the sun sets. So I'll include that over here and then you can check out and rate it for yourself. such a blast making this video for you today thank you so much for spending your time with me and thank you to that handsome hunk over there my husband <laughs> 
he was so kind as to hold the GoPro for me a couple of times during the filming process. So thank you, honey. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be so kind as to smash that like button. Thank you very much. And subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. If you have a GoPro and you've shot some cool footage, let me know in the comments what you've enjoyed using the GoPro for. Otherwise, I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.